On December 8, 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted phase now. Let's jump forward in time and across the Atlantic to the United States on December 8, 1980. We're in Washington State, near a volcano that had already become infamous earlier that year, Mount St. Helens. After its massive, cataclysmic eruption in May, the volcano wasn't done yet. It entered a new eruptive phase, and on this particular day, it put on another dramatic and dangerous show. While not as explosive as the May event, the activity on December 8th was still incredibly powerful. The volcano unleashed pyroclastic flow superheated, fast-moving currents of gas, ash, and rock that surged down its slopes, incinerating everything in their path. At the same time, a huge plume of ash was sent high into the atmosphere. The prevailing winds carried this gritty, dark cloud across Washington, leading to significant ashfall in communities downwind. For the people living in the area, it was another terrifying reminder that the giant in their backyard was still very much awake. The asphalt coated everything in a thick, gray layer, disrupting daily life, damaging machinery, and posing health risks. Scientists and emergency responders were on high alert, continuously monitoring the volcano's every move. This ongoing eruptive phase throughout late 1980 highlighted the long-term nature of volcanic threats and the complex, dynamic processes happening deep within the Earth. It was a clear signal that the story of Mount St. Helens was far from over.